Okay, let's say we have a problem that looks like this, and we want to actually test the mean price of the gasoline for these three brands. Now, most of the stuff you have done so far, if you just go back and look at the ANOVA, you just had columns and then headings, right? Well, notice here I'm actually looking at different metropolitan error, error, areas, errors, areas, areas. <laughs> and so this is actually a two-factor ANOVA. So it's a little different than just highlighting. And if you do single factor, then you're not really understanding that this has columns and rows. So what I want to do is my data analysis, my data analysis. I want to do two-factor without replication because I'm, I'm not replicating um, doing shell, you know, three, four times or whatever. I'm just looking at shell for Akron, Ohio, BP for Akron, Ohio, and so on. So two-factor without replication. I select my data, oops, all my data, and then I want labels because I selected that. I kind of like to select my labels because it tells me what's going on. And then where do I want to output? I don't know, right there's probably good enough and okay. So now on here, when I'm looking at testing the populations, looking at the difference between Shell, BP, and Marathon, think about that. Those are the columns, right? And so what I'm looking at for my test statistic is going to be the 6.08, and then my p-value, the 0 0.09, and 0 0.009 rounded. And if this is at a 0.05, I'm definitely going to reject. There is sufficient evidence to conclude that there is a significant difference in the mean price based on these three brands. So just try to get where you recognize. Otherwise, you're just kind of doing the same thing and you don't really know why you're doing it, right? That you recognize that if you have call, if they only give me columns here, then I could have used the single factor, kind of like that other example with the machines. Well, now, now in this case, this is two factors based on um, the type of gasoline and then the location.